Robin Lee Frost, born on 26 March 1874, was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in the United States. Frost was born in San Francisco, California to journalist William Perscott Frost Jr. and Isabel Moody. His father descended from the Nicholas Frost of the Tiverton Devon, England, who had sailed to New Hampshire in 1634 on the Bulfrana and his mother was a Scottish immigrant. Robert's father was a teacher and later an editor of the San Francisco Evening Bulletin, which later merged with the San Francisco Examiner. Frost graduated from the Lawrence High School in 1892. Proud of his accomplishment, he proposed marriage to Eleanor Murray White, but she demurred, wanting to finish college at St. Lawrence University before the marriage. They were married at the Lawrence Massachusetts set on December 19, 1895. Now moving on to his awards, in 1924, he won the first of the four Pitalizer Prizes for the book New Hampshire, a poem with notes and grace notes. He would win additional Pitalizers for collected poems in 1931, a further range in 1937, and a witness tree in 1943. In 1916, Frost was awarded a United States Congressional Gold Medal. Now moving on to his books. Stopping by the Woods on the Snowy Evening, 1923, Mending Wall, 1914, The Poetry by Robert Frost, 1962, Birches, 1916, Collected Poems of Robert Frost, 1930, The Boys Will, 1913, New Hampshire, and many more. Now moving on to the poem collection of Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken in 1916, the Runaway in 1923, Fire and Ice, Nothing Gold Can Stay, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, 1923, and many more. Now here are some thoughts by Robert Frost. In three words I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Home is a place where when you have to go there, they have to take you in. Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words. Education is the ability to listen almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence. Half the world is composed of people who have something to say and can't, and other half who have nothing to say and keep on saying it. And many more. Finally, Frost died in Boston on January 29, in 1963, of complications from prostate surgery. He was buried at the old Bennington Crematory in Bennington, Vermont.